man? I'm coming to solicit. <laughs> <laughs> soliciting. Sorry. No, we're putting you to work, man. You're gonna build your new kit. Let's do it. Hell yeah, let's go. And we're now here to hand pick out my new shells for my new kit. That's gonna be our 2018 and 2019 um, main touring rig. So it's pretty amazing to be here to actually like hand pick the shells, cut them down, put the uh, reinforcement rings in, like see this whole operation and really be hands on um, every step of the way because I've never done that um, in my life with drumming. So it's an honor to be here to be part of that. And um, these uh, shells, once the rings are in and they're cut down, the bearing edges are done, they're being sent to Los Angeles where we're gonna meet again um, to discuss with Shepard all the art for this um, kit. The theme, the concept, the whole deal. Get those shells painted, then they're gonna get shipped back here to get all the hardware, um, you know, everything uh, put back on them. Then they're gonna get back, sent back to LA for me to bring in the studio to record with, start rehearsals, and then you'll see them you know, live on stage. So we're gonna be part of this whole process throughout the whole way of the making of this special uh, collaborative uh, drum set. You went to see my damage show, and at that show I had these um, metal plates that were executed really similarly to this based on collage and stenciling and primary images with patterns and all sorts of texture around them. So yeah, these end up having a mixture of all that. And because the, this drum is, uh, what is this actually made of? Is it brass? brass. Brass. So, I mean, the, the the color is amazing to make the whole thing cohesive using the brass drum and then the gold and the black spray paint. I think it all works together. But then there are a lot of a lot of details to pick up on, um, you know, and larger primary images, some of my more known iconography, and then you know the flowers and the and the patterns. Um, you know, the challenge of working on. A drum is it's a it's a round surface but with the stencils I can put some spray adhesive on the back and kind of curve the stencil to the surface and if the stencil doesn't stay perfectly flat there's a little bit of overspray but with the organic overlap of the images I think there's a there's a charm actually to all the uh, you know slight imperfections and the transparency of one image sort of fading into the next and uh, you know, I, that's one of the things I've tried to do is make um, the inherent properties of the technique, you know, work work for me rather than against me, and I think, you know, it's uh, it's working nicely.